Hi, the purpose of this recording is to introduce Jack transform of a sequence. There are two key points I'll cover here. One, what is Jack transform? Two, compute simple Jack transform of impulse sequence and unit step sequence. First, let's look at the definition. Given a sequence f of k, there is f0, f1, f2, f3, f4, and so on. The z transform of fk is denoted by z of fk. It's defined by f0 plus f1 over z plus f2 over z squared plus f3 over z cubed plus f4 over z4 and so on. In short, this can be written as summation of f k over z power k for k equal to 0 to infinity. Let's look at a simple example of how to compute the Z transform of impulse sequence. If you are given a sequence delta 0 equal to 1 and delta k equal to 0 for k equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. That means delta 0 is 1, delta 1 is 0, delta 2 is 0, delta 3 is 0, delta 4 is 0 and so on. This sequence is called the impulse sequence. The Z transform of this impulse sequence is equal to delta 0 plus delta 1 over Z power 1 plus delta 2 over Z power 2 plus delta 3 over Z power 3 plus delta 4 over Z power 4 and continue. But we know delta 0 is 1 and delta 1 is 0. Delta 2 is also 0. Delta 3 is also 0. Delta 4 is also 0. And in fact, all the rest of the term are 0. So this is an easy sum. The sum will be 1. So the Z transform of unit impulse sequence is 1. Let's look at the second example. I'm going to find the Z transform of unit step sequence. If uk is equal to 1, for k equals 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. So we know u0 is 1, u1 is 1, u2 is 1, u3 is 1, u4 is 1, and so on. So the Z transform of uk where, where this uk is called a unit step sequence, this is equal to u0 plus u1 over z plus u2 over z square plus u3 over z cube plus u4 over z4 and so on. The pattern continue. But we know that u0 is 1 and u1 is 1 also, u2 is 1, u3 is 1, u4 is 1, and you have an infinite sum like this. So how do we simplify this sum? You recall the geometric series, a plus ar plus ar square plus ar cube plus ar4 plus ar5 and so on. This, the sum is equal to a over 1 minus r, provided absolute value of r is less than 1, that is r between minus 1 and 1. For example, just a little bit of digression. If you are asked 1 plus half, 
plus half square plus n the pattern go on what is the sum in this case a is the first term is 1 the common ratio r is half so the sum is a over 1 minus r where a is 1 r is half and so you get 1 over half which is 2 going back to our jet transform we put a equal to 1 and r equal to 1 over z then you're going to get plus 1 over z plus 1 over z square plus 1 over z cube plus 1 over z fourth plus 1 over z five and so on and according to the formula is a over 1 minus r which is 1 over y minus 1 over z now we can simplify this so that this is equal to z over z minus 1 after multiplication